Hello, I'm Stephen Ho, trader and founder of The Stop Punter, and welcome to the WTI Crude Oil Weekly Chart Analysis Report. <laughs> So before we can carry on, a risk warning for you to pay close attention to. The content in this video is not investment advice, so please seek the advice, help of financial professionals or financial advisors before investing and trading. And trading and investing involves a high degree of risk and your money is at risk, so be very careful. So with that out the way, let's get on with the analysis. Let's dive straight into some sentiment and fundamentals. And before us, we have the light crude oils continuous futures front month contract in terms of the price up the top. We've got a couple of moving averages. And more importantly for us, down the bottom, seasonality. It's you know, reasonably flat to slightly bullish over the next month or so before October comes, before price runs down into or mid-November. In terms of the commitment of traders, the red line there being the commercials, the black line is the cot index of the large speculators. And this is only updated weekly uh, from the CFTC, so it's going to be a slow mover, but it can give us some sort of idea of what's going on. At the moment, the commercials still bearish and we're waiting for the large speculators, the black line there, to pop up you know, above that 10 line before things start to pick up again, but pretty flat to neutral. And on top of that, you can see in the price at the moment in between those two moving averages. So what can we take away from sentiment there? Uh, let's call it weak bullish. So Baker Hughes rig counts. And I focus in on the US ones, and they're up five from the last count, and from last year up 254. So looking still reasonably positive there, which is always a good barometer of what is going on. And now quickly on to inventories. So on investing.com, we can see that pretty much from June, July, August, that the numbers have been better than expected and last week's came at minus 2.9 million barrels as you can see that slotted into the previous red number up the top right and their forecast minus 2.833 million barrels so it'll be interesting to see what happens at this wednesday 3 30 uk time so into the hardcore technical analysis now we've got our weekly line chart and what's happened really since last week the price has been going up heading towards that 70 area and it's got you know resistance at those highs at 75 76 before it can break higher downside support still at 63 dollar area so what's the daily high can actually chart showing me well the trend still upwards it burst out of the two standard deviation regression trend line there, that pink breakout, and we had a sell on the uh, box set up at the same time, but it's just made its way back into the two standard deviation area in the box. If we go down to the signals at the bottom, both are bullish, the RSI and the regression, and volatility in line now, put a move 50 moving average there to smooth it out, to see how far we're away from the norm and it's pretty standard it's around about late 30 40 percent annual vol there so high kanashi chart showing a bit more of a bullish recovery picture in that middle mean regression line pointing up towards the you know high to uh, late 70 dollar area but that's when we hit the you know the resistance from those highs that we saw in early July. So let's have a look at the Renko so we can focus in a bit more of the detail. So a 50 cent block used on the Renko charts and it's a similar story to the Heiken Ashi. We've got the signals at the bottom both bullish although that stochastic uh, line there is indicating it's overbought in until that then breaks down below that 80 line I consider that still to be bullish. 
and what have we got on top of the price chart well the orange lines there we had the breakup and uh, from last week in price from the early 60s up to you know the 68 69 area outside the orange bands there we've broken up above the longer term and shorter term that's the 250 moving average so looking a bit bullish there and i've drawn on two fibonacci lines we've got a longer term we'll call a medium term actually back to the lows of march and the highs of june july time which you can see up there at 75 and that gives us a track of you know potential support resistance target areas at the moment we're around that 38.2 percent line at 68.69 dollars so quite a significant number at the moment downside wise 61.8 at 64 dollars and then probably some more support around 61 62 dollars but i also drew on the fibonacci trend um, projection and that's short term and it follows the recent downtrend but i like using that just to give me some shorter term fibonacci numbers and see where they overlap to the longer term fibonacci because to me that signifies more importance around those numbers and as you can see around the 75 dollar mark to the upside both lines sort of sit on top of each other so i think we're going to have some time where it struggles to break through there but if it can break through you know 76 78 79 can be a very shorter term target but in that medium term on the upside 72 73 might be a sticking point before it can finally get up to those 75s but generally Renko looking pretty bullish now I'm going to keep my overall opinion as weak bullish as per last week things are improving though generally the signals and the Renkos and the Hagen actually getting stronger and the sentiment you know the seasonality rig count inventory is still looking reasonably bullish some are more weaker than others and the cot could be you know about to turn interesting to watch this week's figures but generally weak bullish overall and if we focus in on the targets to the upside similar actually risk return to the downside you know 1.4 2.2 to 1 for more aggressive trades and similar to the downside 1.5 2.5 to 1 there but overall generally a weak bullish feel at the moment so things looking like they're warming up you know getting a bit more bullish on the oil side but maybe limited to that 75 76 dollar area in the shorter term can it break up and go higher maybe something fundamentally will change that will give it that nudge upwards what do you think let me know in the comments below what your opinions are where price is going next love to hear that and if you like today's um, technical analysis and you want to learn more i'll put a link in the description below that you can follow and get stuck into there and if you like today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons to receive future notification of further content such as this and all that's left for me now to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video